Hey guys, what's going on? It is your boy B back with you once again for another round of 1 versus 100 right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could be joining me here once again. Well, the last time that we played this game, looking back on it, was has been quite some time, actually. And I figured, I was going through the rotation, seeing what games we haven't done in a while, and I was like, you know what? Let's bust this one out and see. But today, I do not have to be the one that suffers through this quiz. Somebody else is going to be taking on the mob today. And he's, he's the man that we know with the great impressions and has been sort of a big help here on the channel, especially getting the live stream going. You can catch his Grand Slam tournament on our on our playlists here and on our live streams as we're doing it right now. So please welcome in today's contestant, Mr. Turd Ferguson. Oh man, thanks for having me in here. I tell you, I don't know why. I don't know what's going on back there. There's like I, I got stuck in the bathroom. <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes it just happens when things go on like that. But hey, you're here to take the challenge here and see if you can walk away with possibly a million dollars. So, before we get started, why don't you tell the folks a little bit more about you and about Grand Slam as well? Well, I'll give you the uh, true story, not the one I tell everybody else. Um, I, I am a, a teacher, I've uh, been a, a physical education teacher for 20 years. I'll be starting my 21st year here in just a couple of weeks. Uh, I am a father of six. Um, I also coach my, uh, middle school boys basketball team. Looking forward to starting the third season and that coming up this next year. And, uh, yeah, I've been married for oh, about two and a half years now, I guess. Wonderful. Wow. Uh, you're in the same boat as I am, sir. Yeah, well, the only difference between me and you is this: this is my second turn. <laughs> yeah, this is my this is my first and hopefully only one that I ever have to do. But that that's just only if I'm fortunate and lucky enough at this point. Plus, my wife's already told me a m bunch of times I can't get rid of her at this point. I'm stuck with her for the rest of my life, whether I like it or not. So. Right. Well, that, trust me, that's the best and cheapest way to do it. <laughs> that is quite true. But are you ready to take on the mob here and see if you can't walk away with a million dollars here of my money? Hey, well, we are, we're going to give it the old college try. Well, I wish you nothing but the best of luck. Let's play some one versus 100. All right. Game's quite simple, turd. Either you win or they win. You're going to be answering the same questions together. Get one wrong and you're out. You earn money for every mob member eliminated. And if at any point you get stuck, you get two helps you can use. You can pull the mob and see how many mob members chose a particular answer. Or you can trust the mob, which will lock you into the mob's most picked answer. At certain points of the game, you'll have a chance to bail out of the game with the money you have. But if you can eliminate all 100 people, you're walking away with $1 million. Sweet. So, good luck to you. Let's play the game. It's 1 versus 100. Here's your first question. Which company is represented by a spokes gecko? Petco. Costco. Or Geico. Mob locking your answers, please. All right, mobs locked in their answers. Turd, what do you say? Well, Jose likes to uh, talk about them, uh, as we know, and uh, I actually use them. It would be the Geico Lock It In. Lock It In Geico. All right. All right, it's locked in. Let's see if it Geico is correct. Is Geico represented by Spokes Gecko? It is. All right, let's see how many of our mob members missed that for $1,000 a piece. Just one. Wow. All right, very smart mob. You got $1,000. So far, you've eliminated one person, and we'll continue on. It's one versus 99. Here's your next question. 
What does Rachel Ray like oolong? Uh, what does Rachel Ray like oolong and hot? Her pasta, her sausage, her tea. Mob blocking your answers. All right, they're locked in. What say you, Turk? Well, two things. One, I told you Scott would be here at somewhere around 2 a.m. And uh, <laughs> on, uh, on hey, top of me. that, thank, thank God that I uh, I watched one of your old episodes of this, as I was mentioning. Um, and I saw a very good friend, Mr. Kevin Henry. Shout out to him. Um, he had this question. And... That oolong is a type of tea, so we're going to go see her tea. You going to lock it in? Lock it in. All right. Let's see. So he's you're confident it's the right answer. So let's see. Is oolong and hot types of tea? Yes, it is. All Thanks, right. Kevin. Yep. All right. Let's see how many mob members got that wrong for a thousand dollars each. Seven of them. All right. Seven thousand more. You've got eight thousand dollars so far. Uh, but now you got one more question to answer correctly before you get your first chance to bet out of our game. It's now one versus ninety-two. Here's the question. A rapper tells his girlfriend that her butt looks fat in her jeans. In rap slang, what does he mean? Her butt looks fly. Her butt looks whack. Her butt looks skeezy. Mob, lock it in. All right, they're in. Turn. I know you're well cultured in the rap lingo, correct? Well, I'm, you know, as you can tell, like, you know, I, I'm in the heezy for sheezy. <laughs> you can find you at Club One Tweezy? The, the, well, only on Wendeezy. Ah. Um, <laughs> well, I can tell you right now, if you told a, a girl that her butt looked whack, you'd probably get whack. <laughs> uh, if you told her it looked skeezy, um, she ain't gonna make it easy on you. Um, so yes, it, it's gonna be that that girl looking having that uh, fat butt in there. It means it looks fly. It looks good. So we're gonna a lock it in. Lock it in a. All right. Let's see if you stay along in the game. In rap slang, does her butt look fly? Yes, it does. You had it right on the money. It does mean it but looks good. Let's see how many mob members got it wrong for a thousand apiece. Six of them did. All right. That money's added to your bank. You've eliminated 14 people so far, and you have a bank of $14,000. Now, this is your first chance to get out of the game here, Turd. You still have both helps in play. You can take $14,000 and stop now, or you can go on and try to take out more of the mob. So the question is simple. Do you want the money, or do you want the mob? Audience, what should he do? Mob! Go for the mob! Well, I can tell you I've looked too forward to playing this. To stop this early, so Daddy wants the mob. All right, he's going on with the mob. Well, let's continue on with the game as we play one versus 86. All right, the next two questions, every time you eliminate somebody, they're worth $2,000 apiece. Here comes your next question. On Snoop Dogg's clock, the big hand is on the six and the little hand is on the 12. How many bongs will there be when it strikes the next hour. One, six, or 12. Mob, lock it in. All 
right, mobs got their answers locked in. Jared, we come to you for yours. Well, as we know, the little hand, that is the one that tells you the hour. And the big hand is the one that tells you the minutes. So that means it's 1230 on uh, Snoop D.O. Double Jizzle for on sure. his clock. So on the next hour, it's going to be one o'clock. So we're going to get uh, one dong. Hey, lock it in. Locking it in. All right. He says there will only be one bong on the next hour strikes. Is he right? He is correct. Well done. All right. Let's see how many mob members you got it wrong for $2,000 a piece. Seven of them have. Very nice. You've doubled your money, sir. You're up to $28,000. We got one more question you got to answer before you can get out of the game. So we continue on. It's now one versus 79. Here's the question. 50 Cent finds a wad of Benjamins totaling $1,000. How many Benjamins does he have? Ten. 20 or 50? Bob, lock in your answers, please. All right, we're locked in. All right, turn. Apparently, they're really testing you in the rap game today. Right. Well, I'm, I'm hoping I don't. I've not got this backwards here at all. If I'm not mistaken, they uh, they reference Benjamin's also as C notes, which would be a hundred dollar bill. And if I'm right, then that would mean it would be ten of them. God, I hope I'm not wrong. So we're gonna go with eight and lock it in. Locking it in. All right. Let's see if you're right. 50 Cent finds a wad of Benjamins totaling $1,000. Does he have 10 of them? He does. You got it right, sir. Let's see how many more mob members eliminated for $2,000 apiece. Seven more. Very nice. So that brings you up to a grand total now of 42 thousand dollars and now here's your next chance to bail out of the game sir you still have both of your helps you have forty two thousand dollars you could take that money and say screw you mob or you could try for more as you take on the mob so the question is simply you want the money or do you want the mob thank you the mob uh, you know it's one of those. I've still got some help there to be had, so we're going to keep on pushing. I want the mob. He wants the mob. <laughs> All right, so let's continue on with the game. It's one versus 72. All right, from this point forward, you can bail out after every question, but every mob member eliminated this round is worth $3,000. Good luck to you. Here's your next question. You parked on a steep two-way street facing uphill. Which way should you point your tires to keep your car from rolling downhill? Toward the curb? Away from the curb? Or straight ahead? Mom, lock in your answers, please. All right, Mom has locked in their answers. I'll reread it again here. You've parked on a steep two-way street facing uphill. Which way should you point your tires to keep your car from rolling downhill? Toward the curb, away from the curb, or straight ahead? Well, I feel like this one is pretty straightforward, and I don't mean that as in I'm going straight ahead, because you pointed straight ahead, and it was something was to happen, you're rolling backwards. Um, 
And same thing with away from the curb. If you go away from the curb, if it starts to roll, it's going back downhill. Whereas toward the curb, you're going to wind up backing up onto the curb. So we're going to go toward the curb A and we're locking it in. Locking it in. Again, another confirmed lock-in. He feels like he's got this one down. Let's see if he's right. Should you turn your car tires toward the curb? No. Should turn them away from the curb. Well, crap. Guess I'm rolling downhill. Yeah, and unfortunately, 56 mob members are going to be splitting your $42,000, which means they walk away with 75 bucks a piece. So congratulations to them. And unfortunately, Turd, this is where your game ends up. But did you have fun playing with us? I most certainly did. And now it's kind of scary seeing as how I'm teaching my daughter to uh, drive and stuff. I might need to go do some studying. <laughs> yeah, well... It's, it's okay, because typically, um, as I said, some things will work out like that. But, hey, hey, maybe you get another chance to play this again at some point. We'll give you a shot of redemption. How's that sound? Sounds good, and it was a lot of fun. All right. Well, thank you for playing. Show the turd some love there in the comment section below for this one. This was a fun round. We couldn't give away any big money today, but maybe we will next time. Maybe in another year and a half when I decide to do it again. <laughs> But hopefully you enjoyed this one. Make sure you leave a like and comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We do great game show games like this all the time. And if you want to see more of them, hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. And until the mob goes and out and enjoys their $75 a piece for dinner tonight, I'm your host, Fred Scrug, saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time for more One versus 100. So long, folks.